Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with a real quick transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. I was planning on bringing to you today a full build, a couple of sound tests, different plates, a tear down of Drops new keyboard, the CSTM80. It is a TKL with 88 keys or it has a F13, um, though it doesn't have to sing in bottom row. Usually I like that, but that's neither here nor there. I unfortunately only received half of a keyboard though. I ordered a top shroud, a different plate, but when I opened the box, all I had was this. Um, so I just went ahead, I threw some stabilizers in there. Uh, the plate must be extremely thin because I had to use two pieces of tape uh, to put in uh, some piano, Duroc piano stabilizers. And I had to use two pieces of tape for them to adhere, or to, to not rattle. I mean, they're still a little tiny bit loose, um, but definitely much better than they were prior to. I've never, never before have I had to use more than one piece of tape to stabilize stabilizers on a plate using the Band-Aid mod. Um, this is the first, not even on cheapy Yuzu boards. So, uh, I thought that Drop made a mistake, so I was like, all right, well, let me, you know, before I start this video, let me just get with him and, you know, see what happened. Maybe, you know, because there wasn't anything else in the box, um, despite the invoice showing all items that I ordered. And when I contacted them, they're like, oh, yeah, no, sorry, but um, you'll get the rest of your stuff on the 30th of November, more than a month from today. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? They have the fully built one, which I didn't want to buy because it comes with switches I already have and keycaps I didn't want. But that one does have the top shroud. But I guess if you order the bare bone, you only get half a keyboard. So this is $99 bare bone. It is, I was hoping that at least oh, it might still sound good. I don't know, but personally, when you can get an aluminum TKL with the Mons Geek M3 or other ones in it, other layouts for around the same price that actually come with switches. You know, some of them come loaded uh, or at least with stabilizers. And a lot of them also will come with the new PET mod so they sound much better. It's hard to try to justify the price on this, especially when I only get half the keyboard. Where's the rest of it? I have to wait a month? Uh, it didn't make it clear to me because when I added this keyboard to my cart, a pop-up came up, you know, to add plates and shroud, and I did. I added that. Nothing was clear that this would, that the rest of the parts would be shipped out at a later date. Um, she was like, well, you need to go look at the full page. I'm like, well, that's not, it popped up when I added it to the cart. So I just went ahead and added it, and there was nothing clear. Maybe it was in the fine print, but I missed that. And usually when I purchase a keyboard bare bone and parts for that specific keyboard they're all available at the same time otherwise why not just wait till everything's available and I know that other reviewers have been able to review the full kit and also with the different shrouds so why am why are regular customers not able to get it yet I mean I have reached out to drop to work with them to see if I could get review units but they've never even responded to say sorry no or you know, try us back when you have X number of subscribers. No, they won't even acknowledge my emails. So I guess I'm not worthy. So I went ahead and purchased it, but it's only half a keyboard. So um, it's, it's all, it's a polycarbonate build. The plate is super thin. Um, I mean, polycarbonate usually is, but like I said, it's thinner. I'm not going to take it apart to measure. I really don't think that the customer's experience is part of the product that you're purchasing and being left with only half a keyboard leaves a bad taste in my mouth personally um, and plus the fact that this keyboard just there's nothing special about it despite it having the weight it only weighs about 850 grams usually when, when you add a weight to a keyboard it's going to take it to a kilo or more I mean that's my experience anyway 
So because it's, I don't know, is that brushed aluminum? Is it steel? I don't know. It, the, it is gasket mount, but there isn't much flex at all. And as you can see, the port is attached to the motherboard. So, I mean, that's just, in my opinion, that's just not, not how you do gasket mounts nowadays. It really should be done with a daughter board because, I mean, I mean, obviously there's not much give right there. I mean, it's moving maybe a millimeter or two, but it's, um, I don't know, uh, not looking at the construction, I don't know. And it says it has removable gaskets. It's like, okay, why would you want to remove them? But I don't think it sounds all that good. It doesn't have the PET mod as newer keyboards do. Um, and honestly, for me, uh, being an 88 key or with an F13, but not the Tasangan or a different bottom row layout, it's just kind of odd. Um, it is QMK via bio compatible, but not only did I pay more than I think that it's worth for a polycarbonate keyboard, I did. I only received half of it, so I'm. I'm just taking everything off and sending it back. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the sound test. You guys can hear what this sounds like stock. I mean, I did, like I said, I used the Duroc piano stabilizers. Um, I think they're the V1 or V2. I, I don't remember what version they are. I put them in a different box. But I loaded them up with um, Rose, ta uh, Rose, Rose Glaciers. I, I loaded them up with a, a tactile switch that I actually like. It's in my, I'd say my top 20 tactile switches it's a rose glacier from uh, Nufi and Gatoron it's a nice poppy uh, tactile and I wanted to give it a shot in here I tried it in a few other boards and I like how it sounds it leans a little bit more towards the clacky but it's always been nice and loud and I kind of like loud I'm not the biggest on clicky but I like loud clacky hmm, clacky yeah I like it loud that's why I'm a big fan of the princess uh, switches but I don't even think it sounds that good. It has a lot of foam in it, and you can tell. Um, and I think it might sound. I, I think it would sound better uh, adding a, a PET layer and doing the tape on. But I just, uh, if I keep this keyboard like this, half half of a keyboard, I'd have to wait more than 30 days for the rest of the parts. If I don't like it, once I get those parts, all I can do is return those parts and not the keyboard because the 30 day return window would have closed. So honestly, to me, it seems like almost like a bait and switch. Like they're saying, hey, you know, you get the keyboard. Oh, wait for the rest of the parts. Oh, you don't like it? Oh, well, sorry, you can't return it now. 30 days have passed. It seems awfully convenient. I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but that's the way that I see it. Um, and I, uh, granted, I would say the same thing if I received it as a review unit, but if I received the review unit, I'm almost positive that I would receive all the pieces at once. So it's, I don't know, it, 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 it doesn't speak much to drop and my hopes that things were going to get better now that Corsair has purchased them. I thought, okay, we've got a big brand that is now going to be working, you know, running drop. And we're going to get some better products, better customer service, better, you know, salesmanship, better communication. Like, hey, just know that if you order this now and the rest of the stuff you get, they won't arrive at the same time in nice, you know, letters that I can see on the checkout page because it was not clear anywhere that they're going to be 30 days or more apart because I received this around the I ordered it the day that it came out and I think I got it a couple days it's been like three or four days ago so it's going to be like almost five five and a half weeks from when I received this one to where I would receive the rest of the stuff and I honestly I think that's unacceptable so um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel the rest of the stuff and send this one back I, I am not having any luck the drop senseless 75 was also a huge disappointment I was Hoping that was going to be much better, but it was literally one of the thinnest aluminum keyboards I've ever seen. Um, and it just, a Red Dragon keyboard 
out of the box sounded better than the, that senseless 75. Heck, I, I've, I've reviewed a couple of Red Dragons lately that sound better than this keyboard. And they're half the price. So, I don't see where their value proposition is. Anyway, if you have any questions about the keyboard, I'll try to answer them. But like I said, I'm going to be sending it back. I don't think it, there is any point to keeping this. And I just, I guess I got, I just have to give up on drop. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I, the experiences with them. The only thing that I enjoy are the MT3 keycaps. I've had nothing but issues with any other of their products. Um, I have some of the original, actually, I think I have all but the 1800, the Control, the Alt, and the, um, oh, there's three of them, the 60, the 60, the 65 percent, the TKL, and the 60 percent. Ah, I don't even remember. I've got them in there somewhere, but even those with a lot of modding, they just don't sound good. And they just released the V2, which is the same thing, just a different PCB and no gasket mounting. And they're selling them for over $100. I mean, seriously? It's like they're working with how the market was in 2021. Drop, just so you know, it's 2023. We're almost in 2024. You got to really look at your market before you even decide to release a product. I mean, when it's at the drawing board take a look at the market and see what you're competing against because this in my opinion isn't competitive so i'm leaving you guys with a sound test of this loaded up with um these are ghost judges white on black and rose glacier switches it's not but you know ping um like i said i i was hoping to do much more i, I had ski data uh mt3 I was, one of the shrouds I ordered was the orange ski data. I had aluminum plate coming so we could see how the differences sound. I planned to do it stock and then do a pet mod if it didn't have it because it didn't look like it did on the um, sales page. But, c'est la vie. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.